Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Jonathan. I'm a spiritual guide, a healer, and a medium. To my returning subscribers, welcome back, my friends. Welcome back. And thank you for liking and sharing, and especially commenting. I absolutely love to interact with you guys. In today's video, I want to talk about the July 9th new moon in Cancer. And more importantly, five things that you should know. Let's get started. <music> We are about to experience an incredible shift in energy, especially those of you who identify yourself as an example, a psychic, a psychic medium. You're going to be noticing all of a sudden you're going to be tapping into your heart space like you've never done before, which is going to help heighten up your spiritual gifts. That's going to help to clarify your path moving forward. And those of you who identify yourself as an empath, you're going to be noticing that your intuition will be heightening up because as far as moving forward there's a major shift happening right now where you can continue to rationally think your way forward remain on autopilot and relive the exact same thing day in and day out or else you can choose to start to think outside the box you can choose to start to trust your intuition which sometimes will bring forth situations that just don't seem as the direction that you should be taking but remember this if you give it enough time you're going to realize the blessing that has come forth you're going to realize that this seemingly negative situation was actually a shortcut in order to get you to where you want to be so really embrace this energy tap into your heart space and really start looking as far as what is truly important for you as far as how you should move forward the first thing you should know about the july 9th new moon is things are not as they appear to be right now it all depends as far as which stage are you in as far as your spiritual waking but a lot of things are going to be coming up but it's a matter of taking a step back becoming the observer because it's going everything that's going to happen in your reality is going to let you know what is no longer serving you what you should be letting go of and then looking the other way as far as the new path as far as the new direction and this is the something that's extremely scary especially if you've gone through the spiritual awakening you've healed you've discovered yourself and now you want to start to push forth with your passion that first step is the absolute scariest, but you have nothing to fear. Look back as far as all the inner work that you've done. Look back as far as how many times have you meditated? How many times have you envisioned something? How many times have you written or speaking an affirmation in your reality? Because this is all going to help as far as this massive shift that is beginning to happen. Because you're going to notice this, especially those of you who identify yourselves as psychics. You're going to be noticing something. A major change is going to happen from within yourself as far as really being able to tap into your heart space and heightening your intuition to a whole new level. And it's the same thing as far as you empath. This is going to become extremely clear as far as which path you should be heading down. And sometimes it does mean having to let go of certain certain things for a short period of time but trust me when i say when you let go of that that short-term loss is going to help you as far as that long-term gains because once you start to tap into what is it that you're passionate about and you start sharing it with the world you let your most authentic self out that is when the blessings are going to start to come forth that's when all of a sudden you're going to start to notice you're receiving the resources when you need them to keep you aligned on the right path. Therefore, over the next moon cycle, don't be afraid to let go of certain individuals. Don't be afraid to let go of certain situations in your life and allow yourself to be open to meeting new individuals who are vibing at a much higher vibrational frequency. Stepping out of that comfort zone, trying things out for the very first time is going to help you to start to attract your soul tribe. The second thing you should know about the July 9th new moon is really tapping into your heart space and looking deep as far as what 
truly matters. And starting to take action, I'm not saying to quit your job, end your relationship, sell your home and move. I'm not saying to do all these drastic things at the exact same time. What I'm saying is really tapping into your heart space and seeing what no longer is a vibrational match. What no longer fits your life? What is dropping your vibrational frequency compared to what is making you happier? And you might have to modify as far as the way that you're living currently. You might have to look at different areas where you're able to cut some spending. Therefore, you might be able to quit this job that is stressing you out, that is causing constant frustration, that is leaving you feeling sad, angered, stressed out for something that it's just a transition phase, something that's going to be much more relaxing, much more pleasant and much more fulfilling until you're able to find what is it that you're passionate about and start to push forth. But just this little change as far as just changing careers where now you've managed to release a certain amount of stress, a certain amount of anxiety or anger, any of those bottom feeding emotions. Now it's going to help to clear your mind. It's going to help to clear as far as any type of doubt within your heart as far as how you should move forward. And then you're going to be able to do this transitional phase. So really look deep. Look deep within your heart and what is it that you desire out of this life? How do you want to live your life? What would create a very meaningful, fulfilling life for yourself? And start to see how you're able to make minor changes in order to start to create this life that you've been envisioning. Because you're going to see at a certain point, you're going to be called upon to really have faith as far as the decision that you're going to take. It's going to be real simple. One path is going to be rationally thinking and the other path is going to be your heart, your intuition. But it's that certainty, that faith, that belief that's going to help you to align on the right path. But it's a matter of really tapping into your heart space and seeing what is it that you want out of life. What do you want to remove from your life right now and start taking the necessary steps in order to create the reality that you deserve, the reality that you're worthy of receiving, the reality that's going to allow you to thrive the absolute most, the reality that's going to bring forth the most amount of abundance. Therefore, you're going to be able to share with more and more individuals, helping raise other people's vibrational frequency. Because at the end of the day, we're all here on a mission as far as raising consciousness to that 5D level, helping all those who have their hands out. Therefore, there's nothing to fear. Let go of fear. Let go of any type of doubt and move forward with your heart because it is helping you shift timelines. You might not be aware of it, but you only need two, three timeline shifts in order to create a major change in your life that you're going to be eternally grateful for having taken that action, having trusted that intuition moving forward. The third thing you should know about the July 9th new moon, it is now time to cut that karmic cord. It is now time to put an end to the karmic lessons by looking deep within as far as not on the surface as far as what has happened but really looking deep as far as what was it that you're meant to learn and giving yourself permission to cut that karmic cord giving yourself permission to have taken in the lessons and it is now time to let them go in order to help to propel you moving forward not viewing these as something negative that's happened in your life but viewing them as the lessons that they were meant to be. And as you do so, what you're going to be noticing, all of a sudden, you're gonna shift from that victim mentality into thriving. All of a sudden, you're gonna have cleared off that karmic debt and you're gonna be bringing forth abundance. And you're gonna notice something as you do this. All of a sudden, you're going to be feeling much lighter. All of a sudden, that confidence is going to raise up and that's when the ideas are going to start to come forth. These bright ideas are going to start to come forth, but then it's a matter of taking action on them. It's a matter of realizing all that inner work that you've done, all the lessons that you've taken in, all the hours spent meditating, it's going to help 
to propel you on the journey that you deserve, on the journey that you were put on this earth for, as far as beginning to serve your life purpose beginning to thrive like you've never thrived before with such a fulfilling career that it's going to seem like play. It's going to seem like something that is just fun to do. It's not going to seem like you're having to put in all these hours. You're actually going to be excited to wake up in the morning. You're actually going to be excited for Mondays to come in order to really be able to dive deep into what is it that you're passionate about. So if right now you're hanging on to karmic relationships, if right now you're continuously going through the exact same karmic lessons, take some time, meditate, take some time, sit quietly, take in the lessons and then give yourself permission to cut that karmic cord. The fourth thing you should know about the July 9th new moon, it is now time to once and for all put yourself first, put your own personal needs above others and this is not you being selfish this is you creating more and more self-love self-worth raising your confidence in order to prepare you for the next chapter of your life and what you're going to notice there might be certain individuals where you have to start to set those healthy boundaries especially if you're doing a favor for someone while neglecting your own needs, while neglecting your own responsibilities. Because as of right now, you might not be aware as far as what's my life purpose? What am I meant to do? How am I meant to serve? What is my mission? But as you start to put the focus on yourself, as you continue to raise your vibrational frequency, creating more and more self-love, self-worth, the answers are going to start to come forth. And as far as the law of attraction, you're gonna be noticing a shift. If you were struggling in the past as far as attracting certain things, as far as the law of attraction, you're gonna to start to notice manifesting is gonna become effortless. You're gonna start all of a sudden, you're gonna to start to receive what you need when you need it. Because now you're gonna be tapping more and more into your heart space. And you're going to be figuring things out as far as how is it that you're meant to serve. You're going to be figuring things out as far as how you should present yourself to the world as far as letting your light shine for all the right reasons. Allowing the most authentic version of yourself to come out. Therefore, really look deep from within and start to put yourself and your own personal needs first moving forward. The fifth thing you should know about the July 9th new moon is beginning to shift your perception of the manifesting process. And what I'm talking about is not only viewing the manifesting process as far as the law of attraction and beginning to embrace the law of vibration. Really putting that focus on yourself and your own vibrational frequency as it will help to track what you need when you need it at a much faster pace. You're going to be noticing all of a sudden manifesting is going to become effortless because you're going to be having put the focus on yourself. You're going to be raising your vibrational frequency, letting go of what no longer serves you. Having enough self-love and self-worth to example, to start to exercise, to start to cut out certain unhealthy foods, to get yourself out in nature making sure to get yourself grounded each and every single day, spending that alone time, especially those of you who are consider yourselves empath, having that one hour of alone time per day. And what you're going to notice as you continue to focus on your vibrational frequency, it's going to start to raise. And once it starts to raise, it strengthens the connection with your angels and your guides. It strengthens the connection with God. Then all of a sudden, those divine downloads are going to start to come forth. All of a sudden, those million dollar ideas are going to start to come forth. But it's a matter of taking action. When you receive that guidance, take action and forget about the consequences. Just take action on this. You might not get the immediate results that you're looking for, but you're getting yourself one step closer to that timeline of the version of yourself that has everything that your heart desires. And not only this, along the way, you're going to notice this along the way, especially those of you who just had your spiritual awakening. A lot of things that you want to manifest right now, in a year from now, it 
won't be the same. In a year from now, all of a sudden you're going to have to done enough inner work to see what's really important in your life as of this very moment. And you're going to totally shift as far as what is it that you want to attract. Therefore, really focus on your vibrational frequency moving forward. And you're going to notice this as far as sometimes it'll just have to be one thought as far as this is what I want to have come forth. And you're going to notice all of a sudden it comes forth in that perfect divine timing. And not only this, it's going to make you feel that much better. It's going to help to grow that confidence because you're most likely going to be called to do something that you've never done before. You're going to be called to step out of that comfort zone like you've never done before. But it's through all this inner work, raising your vibrational frequency, that you know that when you take that quantum leap, you're going to have that safe landing. I know what some of you are thinking. This was a lot to take in. But trust me when I say this. Really tap into your heart space over the next moon cycle as it will begin to reveal to you all the answers that you're looking for. Allow yourself to raise your vibrational frequency to a whole new level in order to receive clear cut guidance, in order to understand things at a much deeper level. And you're gonna notice this, this might happen to some of you all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you're gonna be reaching enlightenment and then so many answers are going to come forth. Everything is going to become clearer and clearer. And this is going to happen to help release any type of stress or worry or fear or anxiety about the new direction that you're taking, about this new path. Because there's nothing to fear as far as how you're going to move forward. There's only excitement to be felt. I wish you guys an incredible new moon and really tap into your heart space. Let that love flow from your heart. Let that love guide you moving forward. Well, that's going to do it for the energy report. I love you guys. You guys have an awesome day. Namaste.